If you okay. had three messages to share with all the parents of the world, what would these three messages be? Uh, love your child, love yourself, and love your community. Um, th those are definitely, if, if you truly love your child, you're going to seek out what's truly best for them. And you're going to insist on that at every turn. And you're going to examine and scrutinize how well it's working out. Because affection is un, it, it, true love. Like I used to think when I was a teenager, I was in love with this girl. I'm in love with, you know, Brandy. I'm in love. I'm in love with them. And then you have a child and you discover what love actually is. You're like, I didn't love them. I thought I loved them, but that wasn't love. You hold a child that looks up at you and you go, oh, that's love. If you love your child and then you love yourself, you believe that you have the ability to love that child and scrutinize those things and provide those things that child needs. And that you see both of yourselves as embedded in a loving community that needs your genius and gifts and needs that child's ultimate genius and gifts. I'm embedded and I see myself as participating in a community because you do. You might not, you know, you might just think you live on a street in this neighborhood on this end of town, but you're in a community. We are all interdependent and we are all connected endlessly. You're a, you are functioning as a member of a community, whether you see it or, or not. And there are resources in that community that could make your life better, or there are resources missing from that community that you could provide. And I know this is probably not the answer that you wanted, but it was the first one that popped into my head and I've talked way too much is just love yourself, love your ch children, love yourself and love your community. And if you really do that and don't just give lip service to the idea, but you really love these things, then your, your work in your life, your work is to take care of these things. And that's a wonderful thing. That's great. You're on this earth to do this is to do what you love. You're and and you're participating in and nurturing and contributing to things that you love. And if you see that, then your whole mindset shifts a little bit. And then that allows some of the other things to become possible. Some of the things that are more exciting, maybe. But it starts with, you know, you know, humility and love.